Right then guys, Gaft is back with a fantastic trick in just over a minute. It requires a bit of the Mad Paper People's gaff stick, the roughing balm, and a deck of cards. Now one of these cards, which is the Force Five of Clubs, I've taken the gaff stick and I've rubbed it all the way across the centre. So you've got the width of the gaff stick, quite a hard press, dragged it across the card, that will stay on the top. You can give these cards a shuffle if you want. All you need to do is keep that card on the top of the deck. You're now going to get your spectator to pick any card and the way you're going to do it is you're going to riffle down the side. When they call out stop, you will lift up at that point and show them the five of spades. Let's pick a different card because we've got a five of clubs on the top. Let's say they have the three of diamonds, that's better. So you're going to riffle down, show them the three of diamonds. Now you're going to control this card to the top, which is going to put it on top of the gimmick card with the gaff stick. So the way you're going to do that is you're going to show them this card. And you're just going to say, look, I'll show you the rest of the cards. You're going to choose any one of these. You're going to fan these cards out. And under the fan, you're going to flick up this top card. But they will see this. You're going to fan the cards. Let's say, look, you could have picked any of these. But what you're going to do is flick that card up. And then when you close the fan, that card, their chosen card, ends up on top of your five of clubs. So we'll do that again. You're going to riffle down, call out stop right here. Remember this card for me. You don't need to see this card. It's fine. I'll say, look, I'll just show you. You could have chose any one of these. Oh, get, don't have any double backers in there. You'll show them these. You'll fan it out. Under the fan, you're going to flick up that top card. You're just going to literally pull it up with your finger. But under the cover of the fan, they won't see it. Close up the fan. Their card is now on top of your gimmick card. To the spectator, though, they assume their card is somewhere in the pack. You could give these cards a shuffle if you want making sure not to disturb the top two cards. And then all you're going to say is, look, we're going to use the top card. In this case, it's the five of clubs. You've just done a double push over Then, If you push in the centre and where the roughing balm is, you will just push this card over as one. But it is, in fact, two cards, their chosen card. So you're going to say, look, we're just going to use the top card. In this case, it's the five of clubs. Now, if you push at the top, you'll be able to separate that card. And you're just going to rip up this card. But this is their five of hearts. So we're just going to go back through that. You're going to call out stop right here. Remember this card for me. And let me just show you. You could have chose any one of these cards. They're all different. You're going to flick up that card. Close it up. Um, you could give it a shuffle if you want. Not necessary. And you could say, look, we're going to use a top card. In this case, it's a five of clubs. We're going to take that five. And you know what? We're going to rip it up. All you're going to do is rip up this card, but make sure when you rip it, they cannot see. But you are ripping up there, king. So you could maybe rip it like this. Now, I did have a comment saying that wasn't the same card. It was the same card. There's no card switching. You don't need to switch anything out. Get the spectator to hold what they think is the five of clubs. While they're holding the five of clubs, you're going to get a little lift up on the very top card, which is the five of clubs. And then you're going to do a browy reverse where you're going to take a small packet of cards, flip them face up, drop it on top of that. Another packet, flip them face up. You're now in a position when all these cards are face up, except for your five of clubs. You'll then just give it a couple of cuts to cut that card to the middle and you're done. You could say, wouldn't it be crazy if I spread these cards as one card face up and it's your, oh, five of clubs. But I thought we ripped up the five of clubs. Now, when they open up their hand, they will see that the card they've been holding the whole time is in fact their king of diamonds. King of king of arts, king of arts, joking. It was the queen of arts, not the queen of diamonds. But that's it, guys. It's just a bit of gaffers. Mad paper people produced gaff stick. Just rubbed it across here. So should we do that again? Get rid of this king. God, I'm getting through some cards here. Right, you've got your gimmick on the top. Call that stop for me, right here. Remember this card. I'm not going to use a joker, I want the jokers. Remember this card. I don't want to use a five of space, that's a five of clubs. 
Remember this card, don't use my jack of spades. Bloody hell. Ace of hearts, that's fine. Let me just show you. You could have chose any one of these cards. Um, we're going to use the top card, which in this case is the five of clubs. And all we're going to do is rip up the five. Now, if you can put your hand out for me, you hold on to the five for me for a minute. We're going to do a little cut like this. Maybe one of these. And in that process, with a little magical wave, your card turns face up. Oh, so I thought we just ripped up the five of clubs. No, I ripped up your ace of hearts. So that is the trick, guys. Make sure to smash the like button. Subscribe to Gaff Academy. Post notifications on. And we'll see you tomorrow for another card trick. Get it all in view. Cheers.